What's cool, everybody? It is Raxu Ranger King here, insta-locking Pharaoh in competitive mode, because after that last match where I wasn't able to play her, we ended up losing, and that's usually what happens when I can't play Pharaoh. But, uh, I digress. This is going to be some attack on King's Row, and, uh, this time, we will be sure to, um mute the chat to vanish the chat as you just saw me do right there because at the end of the last match even though it was a good match and the enemy team did make a pretty impressive comeback to be honest at the end of the last match we ended up getting a lot of uh toxicity in the chat this time we will not be having any such shenanigans because we're just gonna keep the chat muted okay i'm not feeling exceptionally hopeful about this team just because i see a widowmaker but this person is diamond ranked and has a golden gun so who knows maybe this is like one of the best widowmakers on the planet Probably not, but we can always be hopeful, right? Defense Pharaoh, what is this? I don't know anyone did that. And Torb. Nice. Enemy turret destroyed. Luckily, their mercy will not- oh, I randomly killed someone there. But, uh, luckily their mercy will not be able to concentrate entirely on their Pharah, because I think she's the only healer on their team, and I'm doing great as usual with Pharah. That was amazing gameplay right there. That was excellent. Securing the objective. Systems at max. Already on fire, already got gold medals. This is what happens when I get to pick Farah. Winning happens. Oh. Perfect. Perfect gameplay. For all you out there watching, don't be too surprised if you like, I don't know, see me winning a tournament someday with Farah or something. I am great with her. Come back here. <laughs> Excellent. Got that person. See, this is what happens when you get the character you need to play, not want to play, that you need to play, and when you have teammates who actually know what they're doing, you win. An Orisa? That's strange, I guess. Uh oh. Too busy commentating, got killed. But anyway. Uh, last time I did these videos, they didn't allow you to pick Orisa in competitive mode. Probably so that you didn't have people who were new to playing Orisa clogging up people's competitive mode, but apparently now you can. Apparently, uh, spending seven days playing a character or whatever, however long it is, that's long enough to be competitive, according to Blizzard. Orisa is a very annoying character, just saying. And no, I'm not just annoyed because it wasn't Doomfist, I'm more just annoyed because it's another barrier character, and the barrier, look at that, it's just like this wall of it can't play the game. It's just a wall that prevents you from playing Overwatch. Oh snap, it's high noon apparently, and dead. Wow. I thought that would not come into the pit, that's probably going to be playing the match right there. Wow. That was weird. What the heck? That usually propels me backwards. I guess it didn't that time. I do have to look out for this sniper. Plus, we don't have a Mercy or anything who could, like, stay nearby me and heal or anything like that. Didn't have enough rockets to kill her. And speaking of uh, being killed, I only have six health left and my team is dead. 
Just realized that. I am moving the payload. Our Reaper just gave us some good progress, though. I still only have six health here. I'm not doing anything till we get a healer, till I get the healer over here. There we go. I, will keep you here. I would've just gotten destroyed with uh, it's only six HP left. Oh, snap! The other Pharaoh was just standing around in there. I didn't expect that. Nice. Got rid of one of my main threats here. Let's get rid of another threat to everyone else. And dead. Oh wow, that was the McCree. I thought it was the uh, the Bastion. This is legitimately a really good McCree player. Nice. Yeah, I guess that just doesn't work in here. Huh. I always forget that I have ult to start. I see you up there. <laughs> Oh snap, it's high noon again. Aha, the res? Well, here's my ult. I think there's a McCree there. Oh no, he got killed, okay. Nice. Well, that went well. Wasn't the fastest payload delivery in history, but we did get it there at the very least. All right, time for some Symmetra, I think. <laughs> we have a Torb, nice. I really should pick Torb someday in competitive just to be funny. I mean, it's not like I'll see anyone talking crowd about me picking Torb because I play with the chat off. Plus, I'm actually legitimately really good at playing him. I think he's technically my main. Let me check. Yeah, he is. It's kind of a shame we don't have a tank, meaning we're probably going to get destroyed pretty swiftly. You know, uh... As much as I want to play Symmetra, I'm going to fix the problem of us not having a tank. Okay. If we can keep them from getting this first point, we are good. We got this. Nice. Nice concussion rocket there. That's the way I play, too. I just went in for a swing and the Lucio pushes me back. Nice. Oh, they have a soldier. That's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna have to hold back and let this barrier heal heal for a bit of a while. If one of them comes in here, I could actually just uh shoulder rush them and hopefully kill one. I think that Lucio is going up there to harass our Torb, so I might have to deal with him. Oh no, we're good. Oh, snap! <laughs> he immediately starts running. Well, someone got him. Okay, here comes the crazy stuff. And there's my healer. Very nice. Oh, someone has me in their sights. Oh, I forgot that doesn't go through the barrier. Okay. And dead. go time here and that Torb just took the armor that I wanted but uh that's okay oh wow I honestly died before I could hit the wall that was crazy let's see that 
Oh, okay, like a bunch of other people hit me too. It would be nice if we had a second tank or something, but instead we have all these weird picks. be able to get that guy, but it did work out. Oh, cool. The Torb got her. Okay, he's just hanging around over there. That was a bit of a wasted ult in my opinion. Very nice. Our Pharah managed to get the other Pharah. Uh, it's too close to the Matrix. What is this ult? People are just throwing things out here at this point. Nice. Got rid of him. Very irritating character. This is bad. Luckily, I did man. Never mind. I was about to say I managed to survive that. Oh, good stuff. Ah, the cart stopped me. That was very nice on the crease part. Nope. Nice. And I charged over the health pack. That was exceptionally good. Goodbye. I don't even know who I'm hitting. I'm just swinging the hammer randomly. Oh wow, only got 20 health left. Good stuff. The Torb gave me uh, some armor. Catchphrase. <laughs> That's like the best voice line in the game. was behind me, okay. Heck out of here. They're almost out of time. Hold on and keep me. Eva's probably gonna use her ult. And we got it. Victory. Oh wow, that actually hit her. Final score. Three to one. Alright, that was good. Victory. That was very good. See, that's what happens when you just hide the chat, when you get the characters who you need, when you get teammates with brains. This is what happens. You win. And pro Genji got play of the match, okay. Never die. Justice from above. Eh. I appreciate the heals, but honestly, holy crud, 58 rocket direct hits. 
I did amazing. I have never seen like that before quite. Like two Pharahs kind of like that in the same in the same cards. That was pretty interesting. But uh, I appreciate the heals from the Mercy, obviously. I just think that they could have picked a slightly more exciting play. But uh, yeah, that was a nice that was a nice match right there. And we will be moving on to match number five next. So far we got three wins to one loss, which is very nice. Okay, on to the next match. 